Hello friends, Heather here, and today I thought I would make a, another vintage Valentine um, to share with you. So I'm going to use a bunch of images from the same collage sheets I used in my last video when I was creating this tag here. So I'm going to use a lot of the same elements. Um, this is just my previous tag, so if you missed that video, you'll want to... Um, check it out. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the simple um, one of my tag bases and I have one of my little cherub focals here and then I have one of the hearts um, from my um, heart set with the cupids and this is the smaller of the two sizes and it fits on these tags that I have that you can um, print out and what I've done is I printed out one of the tags, cut it out, and then I used one of my digital papers, that's a coordinating paper, and just put that on the back. So, um, but I decided I wanted to use that for the front. So I took the text boxes that say, love you always, and I just glued those down to my heart. So those are all ready to go. And I'm gonna have that here. I have my focal and I put four pop dots on that and if you look they're kind of on the edges here so one here here and then here and like up here and that way I can um, pop this on here in my uh, heart will still fit through so I'm gonna go ahead and do that move all my little pieces here and move this back up and let's see, I'll stick that about right there. Okay, and I have a vintage button, which I have tied a little bow with some uh, Baker's twine out of cotton candy. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that now with some dry clear designer glue. So I'll just put a little dot of glue there, which maybe I won't because I used my glue yesterday and I probably didn't um, I didn't put anything inside to keep it unclogged so here we go whoops big old pile of glue that's all right it's gonna dry clear anyway and now I have a super cute little heart tag that slides out it says love you always a little button and if I wanted I could use one of my little uh, images here to pop that on there which why not I think I will so and I think I'll use the one I have on there already so easy peasy and let's see there's some Juliet lace laying here maybe I'll put that on But, nope, I'm just going to keep it simple with a little heart, with a little cup of flowers, a little cup of violets. There we go. And then I'll just slide this back in here. All right, and now I have, I'm going to let this dry. I have my other pieces here, and I have inked all my edges, except for my little cupid here, with, um, Sprayed burlap by Ranger. I'm gonna just do that real quick to my little guy. And actually, I had wanted, I think, to use a doily. And I am not seeing my doilies over here, so I'm gonna grab a doily. And I'll be back in just a second. I'll go ahead and I didn't need this one either. Huh. And this is one of my conversation hearts. So I'm using like my romantic cherub focal hearts for the Tussie Mussies and some of my tickets and my banners and my heart base. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I found a doily and I have inked it with Distress Ink Freed Burlap. I have also um, got my other little tag finished here. I just used my same clip from the other day that I made and that's just going to hold my little tag here in place. And I decided to add one of my little heart focals to the tag as well as the love you always sentiment 
and then this will just slide back in here and the oval comes with the tag set um, and I decided to add that just for a little bit more depth. I like lots and lots of layers. And this cute little clues pin is just a couple Mayart's leaves. There we go. And a rose. Super cute. And I'm just going to go ahead and clip that in place to hold my little love you always tag. Now this could actually be a finished tag and we could just pop a little hole here with our crocodile or hole punch, put a pretty ribbon on top and call it done. And of course, add a glitter if you wanted to. Maybe write a cute little message on the back to your Valentine. So um, that could be one tag. I'm gonna go ahead and um, work on this one. So I have my base and then I have my doily. I also did another one of these little books a little heart book and on the inside I have two sentiments and I can show you that real quick I just put this together the same way I did the other day where I used pop dots underneath the heart on the front and I used some Baker's twine in between so there's this and you see my little pop dot placement there you go and then on the inside it says cutie pie and sweetheart and you could print this um, these little booklets on the um, they look like this they come with the focal set so you'll get this sheet and then the sheet and so if you wanted you could print this and then put it back in your printer and print out a pattern on the other side I just didn't so there you go I'm just gonna set this aside and tie it in a knot in a little while now I have two or some pop dots here on my heart base which I've inked as well and you'll notice that they're twice as high as normal because I have two sets so I um I thought it would be a good idea to make it twice as deep here so that I can stick this underneath I am going to add just a tad bit of glue to each one of these so that um when I stick it to my doily hopefully it'll dry in place all right let's see so i think i want it about right here all right i'm just gonna press down on my two pop dot spots and I'm going to let that dry and then I was thinking about having this little guy here on here as well as this little heart or banner and then some little tags I haven't decided if I was gonna put the tags on top of my banner or have them as a little slide through I think I'll just uh, put them on top. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that in place. And I'll use my stay dry or um, quick drying here. Glue designer dries clear. Wonderful. Now if I wanted, I could use another one of these focals on here instead of this, um, which there's 12 different focals. So one of those would fit. And you get them in two different sizes. So the smaller size or a bigger size, which I seem to be having a problem finding at the moment. Oh, here they are. Or the bigger ones which would fit it would take up a lot of the tag so it's the one I used um, the other day I used the bigger one all right now I'm gonna go ahead and put my little cherub on there I just want to see real quick about this so I'm gonna pull this away for a moment let's see Better not. I gotta let my little um, tabs dry there. 
So it's kind of going through the doily a little bit. All right. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back. All right, I have my little pop that's glued in place and I went ahead and I put my tag behind here just so I could see how it would look and so I could kind of measure, get an idea of where I wanted to put my um, pop dots on, my little cherub person. And you'll see again that I am using too deep the pop dots. So I have them on his right side because he's gonna go over here um, as far as possible. And let's see, whoops, his little head here and his hat. And I can just move that up. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of glue underneath him on this side so that I know he is stuck as well to our uh, heart piece here. So. There we go. And I'm gonna, what I did is the first time I was kind of off camera, I um, had attempted to put my double pop dots on top of each other and I, I put glue and decided I would glue them together so they'd be extra strong and they didn't really want to stick. And then I just started doing it where I just pulled the tab off and put one on top of the other and everything was just fine. So it's one of those silly things. Alrighty, I was thinking that I would have my little tag here. It says you're too sweet. And I'm debating on whether I'm going to have it like off to the side here. So it's kind of hanging off the edge of my heart. And um, I think I'll put this little guy like probably right. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll put it over here. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back and figure out what else I'm going to do here. All right, I have my pieces where I want them to go. And, oops, I got stuck here. There we go. I cut out my Together Forever from the same uh, sheet that I got all my other text boxes from, which is the Hearts and the Cherub set, um, which I'll have all my items that I use listed. And then I decided to add a little XO from my little tiny text box sheets that I have. Um, you get five kind of springy colors. You get this like a cream color and a natural color and pink and I believe blue and like green. Um, all the uh, five of them for, I think it's five dollars. So um, in my Etsy shop, let me check here real quick and see. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue things down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little glue. And add that here. And then um, clean off my cap here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the little X and O next. I just love these little text boxes. I got so tired of writing on little boxes and cutting them out, so I just made a sheet and then made a couple different colors. And I have some, I believe, like in the Halloween section or another section where it's white lettering and a dark background. So, and they look really cute on the banners, these little curvy banners. They're just hard to pick up, especially when you don't have fake fingernails or pretty fingernails like other girls. And um, actually, I'm a nurse and I work uh, with pediatrics, um, mainly in home care now, so I can have a set schedule, so I can do a lot of scouting stuff. And um, having fingernail polish and long fingernails which look really pretty are not something I'm supposed to have so there you go and actually it's like you know that's just kind of like one of those things anyway that I'll just you know chuck it up to that I'm lucky because I don't have I don't have to do it 
I'd like to. Once in a while I get some uh, nail polish out and I think about it, but too much upkeep. So, all right. There we go. I'm just going to let that dry. And I think I am going to call that little tag done. And it is super duper cute. So I am going to let this dry and then I'm going to run around my basement here and I'm going to see if I can find by any chance my um, fine tip applicator and the glue bottle that is attached to. And then I will uh, add some glitter. Otherwise I might just call it done because I don't really like um, how thick it is when it comes out this way. I mean it's good for dots and for some things but for tiny stuff it's not so great. Alright so I'll be back in a minute. Which will seem like nothing actually to you. So there we go. Okay I found my fine tip applicator. Yay! And my glue. And um, I used number 261 Storm. I also used 312 Fresh Green. My favorite 208 Fauna. I always use like the same colors pretty much all the time. There we go. And let's see. Watercolor 272, I believe. Maybe it's not going to focus. There we go. And of course, just Peachy number 162. So, and I believe that is it for colors. All right. So I'll show you first my inner tag here has the fresh green around the edges and the fauna on my little scallop circle as dots and I am going to let that dry um, on my little inner tag that slides inside of that I have my just peachy around the edges and then I have let's see if I can get it to there we go so just peachy around the edge of my heart and then the fresh green on my lettering and then the watercolor on the blue heart and then this will slide right in there once everything is dry and then on my front here I used the Just Peachy on my little Cupid's hat as well as the background base of my tag and on my little banner and my Together Forever words I used the Storm around my chocolate ticket and I have watercolor around my little heart and I do not believe, yep, no fresh green on this one because there wasn't really anything that was green. Um, Fauna is the little dots on my heart as well as the little outline on his little wrap. Okay, so there are all of my pieces for my tag. So I'll let it dry and then I will um, put it all together and be back to show you how it looks. Okay, all my glitter has dried and I added a couple more May Arts leaves here and here as well as two more um, pink roses, so little mulberry roses. So everything is all tucked in place. I added a seam binding bow to the top of the tag in the back and then I just put a little, um, just a little tiny tied knot and then the two edges that are um, cut to look pretty. So. Another little close up of my little heart book, Conversation Heart, in one of my tags. I think it turned out super cute. I will have some still photos on my blog. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this out just so you can see how pretty and sparkly. So the tag's got three parts here. We have our main big one and a small tag, and then yet. We take off our little clip and we have another little tag. Super cute. Super, super cute. Love you always. Kisses. And just stick that back up here like this. Oops. Put our little clip back on. And then. Here's a picture of the bow there. Got our doily. And I'm not going to open that little book again because that just is way too much. It's really hard for me to tie them back. 
uh, once I undo them. I've got fat fingers. So here we go. Super duper cute. I love it. So hopefully you love my tag too. And if you have any questions um, or you would like to see me create something else, uh, send me a message or send me an email to heatherahudson at gmail.com. So that is it. I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.